Imagine a world without color where the vibrant red of a rose, the deep blue of the ocean, and the golden hues of sunset are invisible. This wasn't just an abstract thought for most of human history, it was reality. For millennia, humans may have perceived the world in far fewer colors than we do today. That's not a metaphor, it's science. In the 18th century, German poet Johann Wolfgang von Goethe proposed that ancient humans lacked the ability to perceive the color blue. But it wasn't tea until modern neuroscience and linguistic anthropology converged that we began to understand how this could be true. The surprising truth? Language shapes perception. Ancient texts offer clues. Homer famously described the sea as wind-dark, with no word for blue in his Greek lexicon. Ancient Egyptian had no term for blue until they began manufacturing it using copper compounds. In fact, blue is one of the last colors to appear in many languages across cultures. Without a word for it, early humans may not have recognized it as distinct. The reason lies in how our brains process visual information. We don't simply see light, we interpret it through cultural and linguistic filters. When a society lacks a specific color term, studies show its members it's often struggle to distinguish that color quickly or consistently in controlled experiments. This isn't about biology changing over time. It's about perception evolving with language. As societies developed new pigments, dyes, and words, they expanded their visual vocabulary and with it, their awareness of the world. Today we live in a kaleidoscope of named colors, but this wasn't always so. The journey from monochrome minds to rainbow aware, beings reveals something profound. The way we experience reality is not fixed. It's shaped by the words we speak, the stories we tell, and the cultures we inherit. So next time you admire a cloudless sky, consider this someone, somewhere long ago, might not have seen it as blue at all.